The Big Five Divorce Myths. I'm Susie Miller, your alternative divorce guide. Myth number five. I, I don't understand legal matters. I don't understand the law. I need a lawyer to do this for me. I'm too frightened to do it on my own. True or false? False. You are in charge of your divorce, not a lawyer, not a mediator, not a financial expert. You are in charge of this. And it's very important, I believe, to look at any experts that you choose to engage with and to interview them. Have a chat, make sure that you're aligned with them that you, they understand and really hearing what your outcomes are that you want. And make sure you understand what their particular role is. Nobody's gonna come along and wave a magic wand and sort it all out. There's too many aspects. Your life is a complex thing. Your finances, your uh, children, your um, relationships with grandparents. There's so many areas. So you need to take responsibility for all of that. But you don't have to do it all on your own. So there are people who can help you. So, for example, with my role as an alternative divorce guide, I try to steer people towards the right people at the right time. Give them just the key information so they think, ah, oh, that's what that person does. Ah, oh, that's what that person does. And when it's relevant to them, go and talk to them. And I always encourage people to talk to one or two professionals in each area and get it, you'll, you'll know when that's the person that you just think, oh, they, they get me, that I can work with this person. And sometimes it's just to get some direction and advice, which step I should take now on, on my road, particularly if you're self-representing. You can talk to lawyers, you can talk to mediators, they're very helpful. You don't have to engage them to, to do the whole process for you. Equally, you can talk to people, work with people and say, well, I want you to I'm going to work with financial planner now to sort this part out and then um, I'll get some legal advice just because we should always have independent legal advice at certain points and you can map it all out and there are people who can help you to do that. The most important thing is I think with with this sense of of disempowerment that people have especially uh, especially women when it comes to the financial side there are again there's always someone who can help there are financial uh, money coaches who, whose job is to help you feel more confident about taking on the the financial responsibility of, of your new life um, and many of the financial experts out there now are women which for some people is important so think about what you want what's right for you and then interview talk to a range of experts who you think may be able to, may be able to help you and make a plan make a plan on what to do, a plan of action, and you'll find that the process of doing that will really take so much stress off you, you'll sleep better, and also it'll help give you an overview. And it's much harder than to be sucked into an adversarial approach because it becomes illogical and self-defeating. Once you can see where you're going, how also the best ways to support yourself emotionally, to support your children, you'll find that most of the consequences of an adversarial approach just get in the way. So, yeah, stay out of court, break up right, put your children first, put yourselves first, save yourself a lot of money and a lot of stress, and find a way of creating a map, a travel guide of how to proceed. And then you will be able to go step by step, and it will not be the nightmare that some of your friends may have experienced in their own divorces.